Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, great to hear. Let me show you three options to configure the VFD that's included with the Bogman kit. First will be a general configuration that needs to all be done with the spindle unplugged so you don't blow anything up. First let's do a factory reset to get all our settings cleared. Let's set the source of run commands to zero. This means that you need to use the LCD display of the VFD for starting. And our source of operating frequency. This means we're going to use the LCD to set the frequency for the spindle as well. Next would be our main frequency. You cannot set this until you have set the max operating frequency first. So let's skip over and do that. Here's our maximum operating frequency. This should be set specifically to your spindle. For the bulk man 2.2 kilowatt and the 1.5 kilowatt, this is 400 hertz. Let's go back to our main frequency. Now we should be able to set this at 400. Base frequency should be set to 400. And our min frequency should be 0 0.5. Max voltage. This one's important to get correct. This is based on your spindle and VFD combo. My spindle is 110 volts. Yours might be 220 volts. Make sure you know this and set the value according. Intermediate frequency. We're going to set this to 15. And the min voltage for the start of the curve. We should set this to 8. Frequency lower limits. Set this to 133.33 Hz for 8000 RPM. This is setting the lowest speed the VFD will allow. Our acceleration time 1 and deceleration time 1, 10 seconds here is good for both. Starting mode. I personally use 1 here for starting by frequency tracking. Starting frequency should be around 0.8. Rated motor voltage. This is specific to your spindle and VFD combo. Don't get it wrong. My spindle is 110 volts, so I'm setting it to 110. Rated motor current. This is 8 amps for my spindle. Please check your spindle sheet for yours. Motor poles. My spindle has two, so we're setting two in here. Rated motor revolutions. I need to set this to 3000 for my 2400 RPM. Okay, that's it. We can close out of here and switch off our VFD and connect our spindle. And back on. Let's flick over to our frequency menu and start the spindle off at 200 hertz. Sounds good, let's step it up with the arrows. and down.
we can hear it doesn't go below 133.33, which is good. And stop. Now let's configure the VFD for control by the NVUM controller. Set the source of run commands to 1. Set the source of operating frequency to 1. Set the function for the D1 pin or FOR pin to 1 for run. Configure the higher analog frequency to 400 Hz. And configure the lower analog frequency to 133.33. That's it for the VFD. Let's jump into Mac 3 and configure their NVUM controller. Okay, first off, let's go into configuration, ports and pins, motor outputs. Make sure your spindle is enabled. Your DIR low and step low are enabled. Your output one needs to be enabled on port two, pin number one. Output two needs to be enabled on port two, pin number two. Over to the spindle setup, make sure you've unchecked disabled spindle relays, set output 1 for clockwise, output 2 for counterclockwise, use spindle motor output, PWM control with a base frequency of 20, set out delays for spin up and spin down, check immediate relays off before delay, and apply OK. Let's come out of reset, set our spindle to 8000 RPM, and start it. Let's bump this to 9000. I'll keep working through the RPMs here. As you can see, the RPMs slightly match up, however, trying to get them accurate is quite a difficult job. And stop. Now, for around $3, you can purchase an RS485 and get very accurate RPM control. This also only requires two wires to be run and gives you the ability of some added safety features, which I won't cover in this video as that's best for another time. Simply run the RS negative from the VFD to the D negative and the RS positive to the D positive on the RS485 USB controller and cover it back up. Now we need to change the following settings. The source of run commands needs to be set to 2. The source of operating frequency also needs to be set to 2. Reverse rotation select should be set to 0 for disabled. Our communication address can be set to 1.
our communication board rate should be set to 1. And our communication data method should be set to 3. Now let's tell Mac3 how to communicate with the VFD. I've linked to the plugin below, so let's copy this, go to our Mac3 folder, and then into plugins, and paste it here. Let's launch Mac3. Okay, now let's go into Device Manager. Let's find our COM port that's assigned. Here we have COM3. If you're missing this, you might need to reinstall the driver for your USB controller. Back into Mac3, let's go into Configuration, Configure Plugins, and select Configure beside the VFD driver plugin. COM port we got from Device Manager, set your board rate to 9600 and your VFD address to 1. Lastly, select Pulley Management and click OK. And if everything's correct, you will receive this screen, which shows you the settings have been read from the VFD. Let's set an RPM, come out of reset, and start the spindle. Now we're within 1 RPM. Up to 9,000, we're bang on. 10,000, within 1 RPM. There's 15,000. Twenty thousand within one RPM. Twenty four thousand. Back to eight thousand. And off. I think it's obvious why I'm going to stick with this method. Feeds and speeds are very important in CNC work and this just gives me that much more accuracy. Thanks again for watching guys, please like and subscribe if you can.